This is so dope. I've had the RS2 since it came out and honestly, I just, I can never get tired of this. <laughs> so cool. What is good YouTube? Tristan here back with another video. Today we're talking about the digital photo ring grip for the DJI RS2. Um, I almost went with the tilt -to one. Um, that one costs like 700 or 800 bucks on Amazon, but then I came across this one for around $300. So I figured why not give it a shot? Um, so far, I absolutely love it, um, but I can't wait to get out in the field and use it even more. So the first thing I wanna do is break down what this comes with when it arrives at your doorstep and you take it out of the box. The first thing that you're gonna see is the carrying case and the entire thing comes in this carrying case. Now, typically I wouldn't be excited about it um, because for a lot of my equipment, it takes forever to break down. So I end up just keeping it as is, but this is fairly easy and fast to break down. So I'm actually excited that it comes with this carrying case. Then you have your top and bottom arms, two handle grips, two feet attached to the bottom arm, a V-mount clamp, a rosette adapter, and a base plate. One thing that I do wanna note is that there are two versions that you could order of this. There is the pro model and then there is the basic model. The pro model comes with this piece here, the power supply plate. So what I ended up doing was ordering the basic ring grip separately from the power supply plate. I found the Tilta power supply plate for a little cheaper, which knocked the overall price down a couple dollars. Now, another note is that you will need a V mount battery to power the supply plate, which is going to power the gimbal. Um, this is the one that I use right here. I'll drop a link to it down in the description below. Let's talk about assembly. I'm gonna be honest, it took me maybe three minutes uh, to get this thing assembled out of the box. So it's really, really simple. You just screw the handles into the top and bottom bars. Then you attach your power supply to the base plate, then mount it to the ring. After that, you attach your gimbal to the power supply. Mount the V-mount battery clamp onto the ring. Then mount the D-tap battery onto the clamp. Use the D-tap cord to connect your power supply to the V-mount battery. And boom, you have power. Now this is optional, but you can also put on the protection bracket for added safety. Now, if you have the DJI RS2, why should you purchase this ring grip? Well, there's several reasons, starting with the ease of use. Instead of having to grip the gimbal at one point with both hands, which is hard on the forearms, you can distribute the weight evenly with both arms on either side of the ring, giving you more stability and it's more comfortable. You won't tire yourself out as fast and you can shoot a lot longer. So I do like the fact that there are feet on the bottom of the ring grip simply because it makes it a lot easier to just put it down in between shots and I don't have to worry about pulling the legs from the RS2 handle before setting it down. I know it's a couple seconds, but time is money. The amount of mounting points on this thing is endless. You can literally mount anything to this. Um, right now, I have my monitor mounted to the top. Um, the monitor that I use is the Atomos Ninja 5. Then I have the V-mount battery mounted to the bottom left side. And if I wanted to mount my phone and audio recorder or a microphone to it, I can do that as well. So I think my only issue that I have with the ring grip is the fact that it sits so high off the ground. So if I wanted to get those low to the ground shots, I would have to remove the gimbal completely and use it the traditional way and put it into briefcase mode. Um, the same goes for Vortex mode, but again, these are minor, minor issues. It's not that big of a deal. I think if I had to add one thing to the ring grip, it would be a top handle. I found it really awkward getting low shots, having to bend over using both hands. Um, and I feel like if I had a top handle, I could just use one hand and it would be a little more comfortable for me. But again, not a big deal. Um, the crazy thing is, is that I haven't been able to find one yet. So if any of you know where I can find one, please drop it in the comments below. So my conclusion overall, I think the digital photo ring grip is an absolutely solid and very necessary accessory for the RS2. And at its current price point, it's definitely a steal compared to the other ones that are out there. Sidebar, as you can see, I don't have an HDMI running from my monitor to my camera. That's because the camera is hooked up to the Raven but I am sure there's a way I can keep my camera hooked up to the Raven Eye and see my footage on the monitor. So once I figure that out, that might be another video idea. 
Oh, last thing, almost forgot um, the build quality. Honestly, the build quality on this thing is is not bad. Usually when I get scent products or I buy products from a brand that I've never heard before, I don't expect the build quality to be great, especially when it comes to these little knobs um, where the feet are. But honestly, the build quality of this thing is, is actually excellent. Um, I like how it has like this nice weighted feel to it. Um, it doesn't feel plasticky or cheap at all. So again, the build quality of this thing is actually Excellent, excellent. I never say excellent. The, the build quality is really, really good. And for, for 300 bucks, the build quality better be good. Okay, got it. Now, now we can close the video. All right, y'all, that does it for this video. Before I go, I gotta ask you to do all the YouTuber things. Um, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. I hope you did. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name is Tristan Irvin. I upload videos weekly. I talk about camera gear. Um, I do tutorials and the occasional vlog. Also, hit the bell notification so when I do upload, you get notified. And until that next upload, upload, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay. I'm gonna turn it off. Here. This is Okay. Back to normal you go. Ah, ah. Nope. There you go.